Hello everybody, uh, I am the DJ Roomba. Welcome to Stories Untold. Um, so I played this game a little bit before on the channel, and I, I got to episode 2, but then I didn't play episode 3 because there is some language in episode 3, and I wasn't sure where I wanted the channel go to this channel to go. So I'm just going to start all the way over. Um, and and we'll see how it goes. The other thing I, I didn't like was that I had a face cam. I'm not against face cams, but I didn't have the proper. I don't. I currently don't have the proper equipment to um to to work with that kind of thing. So I'm not doing a face cam, and uh, we uh, we'll just play from there. Uh, it was also blocking some things, and I didn't have a green screen set up. And the one that I did figure out, it's just you know, it's not it's not that good. So let's just. Let's just do this. Uh, episode 1, The House Abandoned. Yes, please. Start. Look beyond the screen to progress. Okay, what does that mean? <coughs> I may... Woo. already off to a good start. Um, I know what happens in these first... I know what happens in all of this, uh, regardless of whether I remember it, because I've seen playthroughs, but the music is amazing, the sound design is amazing, and the, like, the graphics. The whole game is awesome. Like, this looks... this looks real, right here. The House Abandoned Interactive Horror Adventure. So this is, um... I don't remember what it's called. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's the idyllic... It's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. So, in this type of game... There's games... There's real games like this. Uh, but in this type of game, I use my keyboard to type out prompts to give to the game and it will read it and it will it will follow through with what I told it to do so it's telling me you remember being told to look in the glove box before going in so I should look in the glove box it also has in-game typing noises which is amazing okay and it says the glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. So I just have to open the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. All right. Um, leave the car. You open the car door and step out. Okay. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay. Um, go to backyard. You take a walk around the yard, uh, to the yard. Yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Look around. You see a generator in the back wall of the house. On the back wall of the house. Okay. Start gen or how do you spell that? Generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Okay, uh, go to front of house. Go to the front yard. <clears throat> you walk back around the front of the house. To the front of the house. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door. Okay, everything the same. Um, And the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay, open door. 
op open door. Door appears to be locked. You will need to use the a key. Unlock front door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Uh, go inside. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on the lights. You flick the uh, switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here. Okay, there is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. Kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Open. I can't spell. The utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Uh, look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Okay. Uh, go to living room. Sorry, I don't understand. And if, of course, as you can see here, if the game doesn't know what you want it to do, it'll say, I don't understand. So that means I have to go back to the landing. Uh, leave the kitchen. You go back out to the hallway, or in this case, the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit, okay. I have to wait. Go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Okay. Look around. <laughs> Look around because I can't spell. Nope. There we go. There is no... Well. Nothing here of interest. I can't... Uh, can't type properly. That's what I mean. Go back to hallway. You go back out to the hallway. Okay. Go upstairs. Hallway is not brightly lit. There is access to kitchen living room here as well as a set of stairs going up. Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. Stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Okay, look at pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps are happy family. All right, um, go to bathroom. Step inside the bathroom. Cool, you're in the bathroom. There is not much to note, but it's still all in good order. Uh, wash hands. <laughs> of course not. Um, look around. Bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Okay. Nothing about the toilet or perhaps a shower or bathtub? No? Not even a medicine cabinet? Is that what those are called? Uh, leave bathroom. You step back onto the landing. Okay, so the landing is... Upstairs, I guess. <clears throat> um, go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister. It's lagging. Okay, your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you'd seen her. You had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves were crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Look around. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Um, I look in war... How do you spell that? Ward robe. A large... A large clothes wardrobe. Unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never likes you going through her stuff. Too bad. Go through through her stuff. <laughs> okay. You 
step back onto the landing. Stair one landing, bathroom, two bedrooms, yours, okay. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Okay. Look around. It's a standard bedroom, a desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Okay. Now take a step back for a moment. Pull, pull, like pull your say phone screen or or in in front of your face. Like pull it back a second, or back up a second away from your computer. See what's in front of you? A desk and a wood grain TV. Okay, you got that in mind. Good. Um. There's a gift wrapped, gift wrapped box on the table, on the desk. Open the gift. Goft. The gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. Futuro 128K plus 2. It has been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a Futuro computer uh, and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still, it's all still to be set up. Um, set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The plug, the computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Play the game. You put the cassette into the computer and press play. Oh, I knew that was coming and it still made me jump. Okay then. It's upside down now. Does that say out? Get out? It says get out. That says get out. How spooky. Pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home. Stop talking. Okay. Stupid Alexa. You pull up to the driveway of the family home. Family holiday home. And park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be nearer this place. Okay. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out the car, get out, get out. The car, get out, get out, get out, the car, get out, get out, get out, get out, get, get. You pull up to the driveway, okay. Um, I guess I get out the car, if you, if you catch my drift. Get out the car. You force the warped car door open, okay. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Fun. Uh, go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The debris. The grass is overrun, and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Okay, then do as it says there's an old generator next to you turn it on turn on the gen G generator generator fun there isn't much fuel but the generator starts up how fun Go to front yard. You go back to the front of the house. 
The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Well, that's sad. Um, unlock front door. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Well, that's no good. Open door. You, reluctant, you reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. Uh, this could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Okay. Uh, read note again. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Turn on lights. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. Fun. The light... The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are... S Upstairs, sound of alarm clock blaring. Someone else in the house. That can't be. Um, turn off alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. I hate that. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel, the, you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. This kid... There is a kitchen, living room adjacent, and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. <sighs> this game is really good at jump scares. And that wasn't even like an on screen jump scare, that was just a noise. Um, read the note. It's bleeding. Does that mean blood, or it's just runny like you've been sweating on it the whole time well one gross and two gross <laughs> uh, go to living room you enter the living room the living room although hardly an appropriate term the furniture is threadbare and worn the note is fixed in your mind dread fills the pit of your stomach this is not a nice place go to kitchen Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, fine. Go to the hallway first. You return to the hallway. Okay. Go to kitchen. I wonder if there's a way that I can speed up the type out. You go to the kitchen. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. Oh, fun. There is writing on the wall and the utility, utility room door has a red X painted on it. Uh, look around. There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Uh, look at writing. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. <sighs> okay. Uh, unlock the utility room. <laughs> Fine. Um, leave the kitchen. Step back into the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Fun. You are. St <laughs> That's gross. Sorry if you hear sound coming in uh, through my mic. I'm trying to adjust the volume accordingly on my sound system because it's hard for me to hear the actual game. Oh, and I have a fan running in the background. And it occasionally blows on me because it's oscillating. Um, go upstairs. They creak. Okay, I'm just going to pause there. Pick up the phone. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is here should not be here. They need to hang up the phone. Do I do whoever you consider the worst. Hang up. Thank you. Relief. Okay. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look 
at pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Fun. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. That's a horrifying thought. Okay. Go to bathroom then, since it's not boarded up apparently. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. Uh, the sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. L goody. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Leave bathroom. You step back onto the landing. Same but different. Okay. Go to my room. Door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. All right. Um, unlock the door. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key is in your your in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now put input the code. I wanna say it's nineteen eighty six. The lock clicks open. Same but different. Um okay. Go to my room. Door is closed. Fine. Open my door. You open the bedroom door. Fun. Go in my room. You enter your bedroom. Bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you haven't been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer desk. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Look around. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. That's terrifying. Um. Okay. Uh, well, look at person. Look at me. I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. Jeez, that's terrifying. Um, I don't remember where I go from here. Okay. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. Uh, um... Do it anyway. I can tell. Um, turn on the light. Okay. How about read the note? I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but I. But you still. But still, you punish me. I can be with you now. What in the world? There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Okay. End. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please stop. Never. It was all my fault. Say it. Uh, uh. Just say it. Um, subscribe to there we go fine uh, say what I don't remember it uh, you're pathetic you're you are p 
pathetic. Fine. I'm pathetic. I don't remember what I'm saying. I honestly, I honestly totally forgot I was messing around too much. Um, I am pathetic, pathe, pathaked, pathetic. Can't, can't pronounce my misspelling. Okay. Oh no, it's all my fault. That's it. It's my fault. I honestly have to look this up. I cannot remember. Was it it's all my fault? It's my fault. Oh, it was. It maybe it was all my fault. There we go. Finally. Yeah, me too. No kidding. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Dang. He did too, apparently. He killed me straight up. Well, looks like I'm dead. Thanks for running the credits, guys. Um. Alright, well. <laughs> this was episode one, The House Abandoned. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, hit the like button. If you want more, subscribe. If you, want, if you want to be notified of when the next episode comes out, ring the bell. And, uh, I don't know, leave a comment. What was your favorite part? Uh, what games do you want me to play? Or, uh, what made you jump, I guess? Because that episode made me jump twice. And it just put me on edge a couple times. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Jack it up.